I always loved getting into the Romanian taxis because you never knew what you were going to get and you'd hear things like or, or things like that. Drivers getting mad at other drivers. Very aggressive driving in Romania. It's a lot different in America but somehow it works out and I'll never forget drivers driving on the tram tracks and coming in front of people going into the middle of the streets. It's house, it's chaos in the streets of Romania but somehow it's efficient and people are okay. One of my worst language mistakes was when I was in Romania for about one or two weeks and we had met with this woman who had a daughter she was 18 and she was asking about who I was how old I was what I wanted to do and I, you know I said um business all those kind of things the woman said oh that's great that means you can take my daughter to marry uh, when you leave in two years she'll be 18 then and you can take her back to America and I said da 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 I said yes 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 so uh, I could say that I got engaged two weeks into Romania uh, on accident. Of course, that didn't happen, thankfully, but I learned quickly to not say yes to everything if I didn't understand what was going on. Romanians are very giving. Something that is different in Romania than America is when Romanians visit another Romanian, they always come with a gift or something to give the host. And I think that's really amazing and it, and it shows their appreciation in a tangible way. And I think that's really great. Alexa, my wife and I, we, we try to do that when we go to our friends' homes now to follow the Romanians example because it, it really is a great quality of giving that Romanians have. I love that Romanians love to dance. Going to a nunta, a, a wedding, or a petrecere, just any party, there's always going to be dancing. And when the hora comes, the traditional Romanian dance, you link arms and dance in a circle. It's the funnest part and I love connecting with Romanians in that way. And I'm not very good at the, the foot part, but I, I like to try. It's always so much fun. Probably the biggest thing that I love and admire about the Romanian culture, uh, Cultura Romanesca is how family centric or family oriented Romanians are. I love that when you go into their home, usually they give you a pair of slippers to put on and so you feel right at home and uh, they always serve you good food and make you feel welcomed and are great conversationalists. You never have a bad conversation with a Romanian or not an interesting conversation with a Romanian. They always keep you on your feet and laughing. So I, I love that about the Romanian culture. My favorite Romanian food that I had was Arde Umplutz. Arde Umplutz is basically a stuffed pepper with rice and pork with a tomato sauce over it and it is delicious. It's farte farte buni. I loved it just because it was something that I, when I went to Romanians' homes, they, they often made Arde Umplutz, you know, especially on a Sunday afternoon. That was kind of a special meal. It just has a great gust, a great flavor with the dill and just a classic Romanian dish. My other favorite Romanian food is not a food, but it's a type. It's Romanian gratar. That is Romanian barbecue. A famous one that they grill is called mich. It's a type of sausage. It's very delicious. They have it with bread and mustard. Whenever we went to a Romanian gratar, you knew that a Romanian was going to be serving you bread with mus mustard, mustard and, and mich and uh, other things like sausages, kornats. Cr it's just so good. They just know how to barbecue really well. Probably the craziest food that I had was piftie. Essentially, it's chicken gelatin. Uh, really interesting, very garlicky. Not great by it on its own, but it's all right with a little bit of bread. So it's kind of like a gelatin spread. So piftie, that is an interesting one. Usually we have it during Christmas time. And probably my favorite local food was in Piazza Victoria at uh, Shawarma Orient. It was a great shawarma place. Just had probably the best shawarma that I've ever had, even better than three store kebab, in my opinion. So I don't know, the jury's out, but I really, I really like Shawarma Orient. Romanians are amazing cooks. Uh, I honestly have not had very many bad things that a Romanian has made. I've been to many Romanians' homes and everything that I've had is delicious from the chorpa to the arde umplutz to the, the sarmale. Everything is amazing and uh, they're just so welcoming and, and food is definitely a love language for Romanians. And that's my love language, so it's perfect. I was in Romania as a, a church missionary, a volunteer. I lived in Romania for two years and a big part was serving others and, and looking for ways to, to help the people of Romania. And there was a lady who's a member of our church, and she did not have very much at all. And um, she lived La Tzara, far away from the, the main city. And every week she would take the train to the church and attend church. And that was really amazing. And we got we got to know this lady very well. And we learned that she, this was during winter, and she did not have 
have any electricity or any heat in her home. And it was just a one bedroom place, uh, very meager means. And so we went to, to visit her and we had looked at her living situation and realized that she needed a stove. And so we ended up getting her a stove. It, was, it weighed 600 pounds and in classic Romanian fashion, the deliverer in the truck, he, he brought the truck to her house but did not help move it out. And so we had to figure out a way to get this giant 300 kilogram stove off of the delivery truck. And so we talked to some of her neighbors and one of her neighbors had a great idea of, of grabbing two metal poles. So we, we got the metal pipes and laid them kind of like a ramp off the truck and shimmied the stove off of the ramp that we had made with the neighbor and uh, grabbed a skateboard or something and pushed it all the way to her house and put it in. We were really grateful for the neighbor. A lot of people are very kind and are eager to help when you're in need. And we were also just able to help that lady have warmth for the winter. There are a lot of people that are very poor in Romania. It was just a really eye-opening experience for me to see firsthand and to help firsthand people who are in need. Romanian by nature are very loving and sensitive and aware of the, their surroundings and I think Romanians can do a lot of good to their their fellow neighbors as they look around and and look for ways to help. Another story uh, that is very personal to me is a story of my friend Tudor, Tudor Simeonov and Tudor was a, a giant Romanian. I've never seen a Romanian as large as Tudor. He was uh, he did canotage, he did rowing and he was just a, a massive athlete. We met Tudor from an English class that I had helped teach. And Tudor became interested in, in learning a little bit more about what we believe in in our church. And so we got to spend a lot of time with Tudor. We played soccer with him. We went to dinner with him. We taught him about Jesus Christ. Tudor and I had a great friendship. When I came home from Romania, we still talked a lot. And that's something I love about all of my Romanian friends. We still talk on Facebook Messenger or, or something like that and keep in touch and Romanians are loyal friends to the end. My friend Tudor in January 2019, he had moved to London where he was a Paznik, a guard for a New Year's Eve party. And Tudor is such a loyal friend and, and he is a hero. At this night, there were some men that were trying to get into the party that, that were not allowed to and they started to assault somebody and Tudor went to go save that person and in the meantime was, was killed by those people. And it it was very sad, not just for me and his close friends, but for a lot of Romania because we knew him as a hero, as a Romanian athlete, and that was very hard for me to hear. I felt for a lot of my friends in Romania who were mourning Tudor's death. I think about Tudor a lot because he was one of my greatest friends from Romania, and it's reminded me how important friendships are and how amazing Romanians are, especially when it comes to friendship. They're loyal, lifelong friends. And I hold Romania and the people of Romania very close to my heart, especially Tudor and, and my other friends. I'm just really grateful for Tudor and for all of my friends in Romania that have shown me what it means to be a loyal friend. Sometimes we'd be walking in the park, specifically in Craiova. I was in Craiova for a little bit and we would walk in Gradina Botanica and we would see kids it's playing tennis de pichor or foot tennis. Basically, it's soccer, but with a tennis net. And so you have to kick the soccer ball over the net. Sometimes we would join and, and play with the kids or play in Piazza Obor in Bucharest, play some football, some soccer over there. And that was always a highlight of my days, connecting with the Romanian tiner, the, the young kids of Romania, through football or other sports. I love that Romanians love football. At least where I live in America, taking public transportation is not super common. A lot of people have cars. In Romania, I, I feel it's more the opposite. Most people take the metro or the tramway or the autobus or maxi taxi, one of those to get to work and to get around town. Believe me, if you're in Bucharest, you definitely want to be taking the public transportation because getting around Bucharest in an automobile in a car is the worst thing in the world. It takes forever. There's traffic. It takes so long. So going on the metro is definitely the way to go in, in Bucharest. Another part of the Romanian culture that I really love is the way that they greet and and, and say goodbye to you. Romanians will never leave you without wishing you good health or may God help you, things of that sort. And I think that that's amazing and uh, it's just a very kind thing to say. And in America, we just say, see you later. And I think we could follow the Romanian suit a little bit and wish people sanatate, numai sanatate, doamne să te ajute, things like that. In Romania, they use the Romanian leu or lei. Four Romanian lei is about equal to a dollar. So the cost of living in Romania is generally cheaper than in the United States. Most people 
live in apartment blocks or blokwood as they say. These blocks were typically erected in the communist era so they aren't really beautiful on the outside but every Romanian home is beautiful on the inside. The first thing that you'll notice as you walk into a Romanian block or apartment building are all the beautiful doors. They Each Romanian picks out a, a door that is unique and it's very beautiful. And then when you walk inside it's always very warm and comfortable, lots of rugs. They aren't the biggest homes usually, especially in the cities, but they're very welcoming. I feel like an apartment romanesque is very a home for me. When you go out La Zara in the countryside, people typically have homes not as big usually as American homes. Usually they're fenced in the front yard. They have a fence and you have to either ring a doorbell or get their attention to get in. And then they have a little vineyard or a little garden, something like that in the countryside. It's very beautiful. In contrast in America, a lot of homes are a little bit bigger and usually have either a front or backyard and that's mainly just grass. I never really felt threatened in Romania. I'm probably a little bit bigger than most Romanians or at least taller, but everywhere is very, very safe for the most part. When I first got in Romania, I had never taken a train. I've never taken a, tra a taxi. I'd never taken a tram. Basically, I hadn't really traveled with public transportation. So when I got to Romania and when we flew into Bucharest, I learned that I was going to be going to Arad, which is the west side of Romania and about a 13 hour train ride. So to get to the Gara, Gara de Nord, we had to take a taxi, take a tram, take the autobus, and then get to the train station where we took a train. And I had never taken any of those means of transportation before. That was a huge culture shock. <laughs> but I quickly learned to love going on long train rides and taking public transportation because then I got to talk with people and learn more about cultura romanesca. Uh, Romanian culture. Some of my best memories and conversations were on our long train rides to Arad or wherever we were going. Romanian is a Latin-based language, so it's similar to Spanish, Italian. It has a little bit of Slavic influence, so you'll hear some words that sound like they're Russian. Romanian is a very interesting language. It sounds very romantic and beautiful, and it's, it's pretty difficult to learn. Grammar and sentence structure is very different compared to English, and I would say it, it took me almost six months to feel like I could have kind of a normal conversation with people. And by a year, I felt like I was joking and, and cracking jokes and having a good time and enjoying speaking Romanian. People are very willing to help teach you Romanian. They're patient with you oftentimes. They're just impressed that you're trying to learn their language because not a lot of people learn Romanian. It's a dying language, unfortunately. There's not too many people that still speak limba romana. Mesajul meu către romani, către voi este că uh, um, mi-a plăcut fiecare moment pe care l-am petrecut în România și vreau să vă spun că Domnul uh, are grijă de voi și că El vă iubește și El nu vă va lăsa niciodată. Eu, uh, eu știu lucrul ăsta pentru că am văzut miracole în România și eu știu că țara voastră este protejată și Uh, că Dumnezeu a, are, are grijă de voi. Vă iubesc și sunt recunoscător pentru uh, momentele pe care le-am petrecut în România și niciodată eu uh, nu, nu voi uita lucrul ăsta. So my favorite places to visit in Romania were first Orșova, uh, where Statuia de Cebal is. Statuia de Cebal, it's a big statue, kind of looks like Lord of the Rings. It's very beautiful and we went on a little boat tour on Rul Dunuri on the Danube River and went right next to the rock statue and it was just a beautiful place, very mountainous and probably one of my favorite places to visit Romania. The other place that I loved was close to Brașov in the Carpathian Mountains. It's called Moiechu de Sus and it's just a really countryside-esque area. Little Romanian homes, wildlife. I went on the most beautiful hike over there and you know the, the Castello Bran, the Brown Castle, Dracula's Castle uh, was right there and just a beautiful place. And next to those places I loved visiting Brasov, Cluj, Craiova, Bucharest. All of those cities have unique beauty to them. I really don't think there's very many places in Romania that aren't uh, beautiful. It's it's a great land. Uh, it's been blessed with amazing places. Doamne să vă ajute și numai sănătate. Pa!